A resident in Bethel Heights gave me this bag of dirty sludge. He says came from his yard this morning. Residents in Bethel Heights want the city and the state to do something about the city's wastewater treatment plant. And today they asked the Springdale Water and Sewer Commission for help. We're just wanting the wastewater to stop flowing onto our property and our neighbor's property. Jason Steele's property was annexed into Springdale back in September. Now he wants to help others who are facing similar problems with wastewater on their properties. Not only will this help uh, Bethel Heights, um, it'll help all the citizens of Northwest Arkansas uh, with wastewater flowing into their streams. Um, of course, that's bad. We've tried to work with Bethel Heights and couldn't get anywhere, so we'll just go to the election. Steele and several other Bethel Heights citizens presented to the Springdale Water and Sewer Commission today. With more than 3,000 signatures, they can move forward with a special election to make Bethel Heights a city of the past. Chris Weiser with the commission says the city is happy to help. What Bethel Heights is doing is uh, beyond comprehension. Uh, that that could happen, that the ADEQ has allowed it to happen over many years, and uh, it needs to be cleaned up before there is a uh, environmental, worse environmental disaster. The Springdale City Attorney says the signatures have to be verified. Then both Springdale and Bethel Heights have to pass an ordinance allowing the special election. If a majority of voters vote yes, Bethel Heights would cease to exist, and Springdale would provide water and sewer for all of those residents. It's an environmental uh, issue that should be uh, addressed. It should have been addressed by ADEQ. Uh, the, the city of Bethel Heights has ignored it. Uh, in my opinion, criminally, uh, they need to be held accountable. A date has not been set yet for that special election, but Steele says he hopes it can get on the ballot in March for the primary election. I reached out to the mayor and multiple city administrators with Bethel Heights for a comment and have not heard back. In Springdale, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.